Hi there, my name's Ben from Goldcrest Chartered Surveyors and I've been asked to film this short video today to try and simplify a question that we regularly get asked by our clients. And that is, what is the difference between level two and level three survey? Well, both reports look at houses, apartments and flats. Both reports look at the properties from the roof all the way down to the drainage, the grounds and boundaries, the whole of the inside of the property and a visual inspection of the services. So really any, anything you can think of. Uh, both reports also look at environmental issues and hazards that could be affecting the property locally. The main difference is the level three report is more detailed. And therefore, if you are purchasing a property that was built prior to the Victorian period, or has been altered or extended significantly, or is in a poor condition, then you should have a level three survey, as that will provide that extra level of advice that you're going to need. However, for many people who are purchasing a standard type property, that is, it's built of brick and tile, it's in a reasonable condition, as far as you can tell, it was built after the Victorian period or around the Victorian period and it's not been extended or altered significantly, then an RICS level two report will be fine. It's a very comprehensive report and it does look at everything within the property and around the property that you should be concerned about. I hope that simplifies this particular question for you and we wish you all the best with your property purchase.